Italy reels from the devastation of COVID-19. Tourism may have dried up, but not all industries are having to close shop. In picturesque Fara San Martino in the Abruzzo region, a traditional pasta producer with orders for Australia has not skipped a beat. While Italy grinds to a halt amid the coronavirus crisis, thankfully it's business as usual for one of the country's key exports. We have never seen something like this period. We don't know what can happen tomorrow, but we work. Pasta Cocco is famous for its traditional production, using machines dating back to the early 1900s, while its water source is the mountain spring close by. On the factory floor, an order being prepared for Australia. We, we export to Australia and, uh, and at the moment we don't see any changing. But other areas of Italy's production line are struggling. Giovanni D'Alessio has a family farm which produces wine and olive oil. Our main customers are uh, restaurant, hotel, wine bar, catering. So the, the sales are zero and it's very difficult for, uh, for, for us. He says the government hasn't offered enough help. The longer the lockdown continues, the harder it will be also for the country's tourism industry to recover. In the next three months alone, the sector is expected to lose $8 billion. This five-star hotel along the Trabocchi coastline has been two years in the making. It's almost ready, but the grand opening has been postponed indefinitely. But Italians hope their country will return to the mind of travellers. Come back to visit uh, Italy, come back uh, to visit uh, our little villages and of course uh, drink uh, Italian wine and eating uh, uh, Italian products all around the world. An important message for when the country finally moves from crisis to recovery mode. Hermione Kitson, SBS World News.